Hi everyone. With this video, I'm going to show you how you can track calls in Google Analytics 4. Now to do this, you need two things. You need an active Google Analytics 4 account and a call tracking software. I'm going to be using Nimbata for the purpose of this video and show you how you can integrate um, your Nimbata account to send phone call leads as events in Google Analytics 4. So let's get right to it. Um, the first thing you will need is to log into your call tracking software. Now, um, I've already set up my account here. Um, I have two tracking numbers, which I display on my website, one on, um, as a Google Ads extension, one on Google My Business. Um, and whoever dials these numbers uh, will connect to the person I have assigned on my call flow. So what we want to do here is, okay, People are calling, we get all this data in Nimbata. What I want to do is integrate my Nimbata account to shoot these offline events back to Google Analytics 4. Now, from the main integrations here, I'm going to select Google Analytics and click on the tab GA4. Here, what I want to do and what Nimbata will ask me is what types of events do you want to receive? Do you want to tag the new caller separately or not? So I have the option to flip the switch. If I, if I keep it inactive, Nimbata will send one event for all calls. If I flip this switch to on, Nimbata will send two different events, depending if, if it's a first time caller or if it's a repeat caller. So if somebody calls and they have called my business again, Nimbata will send an event named Nimbata underscore call. Whereas if it's a first time caller or a new client, Nimbata will shoot over an event with the name Nimbata underscore first call. Now for Nimbata to integrate with your Google Analytics account, it needs a GA4 API key and a measurement ID. So I'm currently logged in here to my GA4 account. For This is for test purposes, so it's not... Um, the setup hasn't been completed, but um, I can fetch this information if I click here on admin, data streams, and select my data stream. Now, if you haven't created a data stream, you'll find a button here called create data stream. Follow the steps and you'll reach this um, screen here. If you click on your web uh, stream, you'll find the details. And here what we want to do is actually fetch the measurement protocol API secret. Now, this is unique for um, each of your uh, Google Analytics 4 accounts. So I'm going to copy the secret value and paste it here in Nimbata. Now, I also need to add the measurement ID. So I'm going to click on X here and then find my measurement ID, copy that, and then set it to all of my tracking numbers. Now, I'm almost done here. Um, first of all, I need to select the trigger, and I want to send all calls to Google Analytics 4. So right now, Nimbata has everything they need. it needs to send um, the event back to uh, Google Analytics. Now, I can also add additional event parameters um, to my event if I, if I like. So here, I have added the value, and I give it a name, or I can also add... I don't know, maybe the tracking number friendly name, right? So um, I'm going to use this parameter as tracking num name. And I can also um, maybe add the call outcome, right? So call underscore outcome. And I'm good to go. The event has been uh, saved in Embada, um, and I've linked my uh, Google Analytics uh, API key and measurement ID. So what I want to do next is, okay, I want to test if the integration works. So I'm going to go ahead and place a test call so Nimbata can track the call and see if the call is sent to Google Analytics. So let's click here on contact us and then dial the number that I see on my screen. So 
Okay, and it's ringing, so I'm receiving my call right now. Let's hang up for this specific call. And let's head back to Google Analytics. Now I'm going to be using another account where I've already set this up. And hopefully here, if I head over to reports and click on real time, Nimbada should have sent the event to Google Analytics. So if I search here, there you go, Nimbada call one. And if I click on that, I also see the event parameters that have been sent along with the event, like the friendly name, the call duration, country, currency, device, um, the GA session ID, source, medium, page location, um, and, and so forth. Uh, now, you also need to take note that if it's the first call you place, uh, it might take, it typically is shown in, in real time, on the real time view, but um, in the other reports and views, um, it will take about um, 24 hours for Google Analytics to show this call. Now, what I forgot to mention here is in my Google Analytics account, before I can see these events, um, uh, and these event parameters, right? I need to head over to admin and create some custom definitions. GA4 works differently than what Google Analytics Universal used to work. Uh, so uh, you need to set up these event parameters as custom definitions. So here under custom definitions, you can create custom dimensions and custom metrics. You can do so by clicking on this create custom uh, dimension button and then select the event parameter that you wish to set up. Let's say I want to set up the call outcome. So I'm going to give my dimension name call outcome. Always choose as a scope an event and you can also give a description the outcome of the call. So once I have created these um, custom dimensions and the custom metrics, Let's create a custom metric for the value, value of each call. Select the event parameter, find the value parameter here, and then as a unit of measurement, currency, and click on save. Now, once I have my custom definitions, I can see and, and use these custom definitions in um, the reports. So if I head back to reports, we um, saw the uh, real-time view, but um, uh, what I can do here is head over to engagement, events, and this is where I will start seeing uh, my calls as events. Now it's critical to know here that, um, let's list all events here. So these are all the events I have received for this specific date frame. Now it's critical to note here that Google Analytics places a threshold, meaning that um, it applies a threshold and it's not showing you all of the events, uh, but some of the events. Um, if you're not finding the call events here, what you wanna do is select a, a period uh, greater than I don't know, last seven days or 28 days. This is if you have very, very few calls and you have a lot of um, other, uh, events uh, of other types, Google will threshold this. So I'm gonna click on apply. And by doing so, uh, let's say I get now data for the past 12 months. Hopefully here, um, the threshold that is applied will have enough calls for them to be listed here on my uh, Google Analytics 4 reports. And, and, and indeed, here I can see I have 260 events for Nibata call and 260 events for um, Nibata first call. Now I can click on that event and this will take me to the Nibata call event uh, page here in Google Analytics, where based on the custom definitions um, that I have created, I can also see all the, these parameters that I have set, like the page location, the device, friendly name, call duration, um, and all that neat stuff. Now, um, I haven't set this up in this specific 
account, but once you set up the custom de uh, definitions, uh, all of the information will be uh, displayed here. Now, a critical um, thing to do here in Google Analytics 4 is to actually um, mark the events as conversions. Um, so you want to head over to events and then find the um, Nimbata call and mark it as a conversion, which will then show up here in the conversion event. So here you can see that we have, um, let's see, for the last 30 days, Nimbata call and Nimbata first call, which are marked as conversions. Now what this allows me is to head back to the reports select engagement conversions and here I can see all of my calls as conversions again Google may um, apply a threshold so let's uh, go ahead and uh, click on last 90 days and see if calls are beginning to show up in this specific account and indeed I can see that I have 80 calls for this for the past 30 days um, from repeat callers and 61 calls from Nimbata first call, uh, first callers. Now, if I want to see more information about where these callers came from, I can always click on this conversion. This will take me to the conversion page of the Nimbata call. And now I can have a breakdown per source. So out of the 80 calls, we have 21 for organic search, 10 for direct, and so forth. Now, you can change the grouping here, so if I select source, these calls will be broken down by the source. So you see 26 calls from Google, um, very, very few calls from Facebook and so forth, or even the medium. So 11 calls from the ad extension, um, from organic, and so forth. Uh, you can also keep the default channel group and then click on the plus sign here and 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 segment your data based on the custom definitions that you have. So here um, you can type any of the custom definitions that you've created or metrics um, and select that segment of your data. So if I want to segment then by source, I'm going to select the source, default channel group, and the source. So um, paid search, Google five calls, organic search, Google 21 calls. Now you can um, also, find here the campaign that drove the calls. So, paid search, uh, call tracking, paid search, legal services, and so forth. Email this campaign. So, this is the way to view all of your data by UDM source, UDM medium, and campaign, similarly to how you were used to seeing calls in um, Universal Analytics. Um, now, Google Analytics 4 is constantly being updated. Um, you'll have to play a, a bit with the, the custom dimensions and custom metrics, uh, tweak around your reports, but it's pretty powerful. Um, you, you have all the information you need. It's just a matter of finding where to um, see the data that um, you want to analyze. Hope this video helped. Feel free to reach out or um, leave a comment in the uh, section below and um, always happy to answer any questions you may have.